Good evening, everyone. The organization which has meant music in Cincinnati since the late 1800s will get the chance to bring music to the banks in the 21st century. City Council and County Commissioners today choosing the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra as the preferred developer for a music venue at the banks. Local 12 Jeff Hirsch joining us now live with what all the, this means. And Jeff, a lot of talk about this. People are really interested. Yeah, and we're not there yet. This is a big step. Uh, City Council's budget committee, seven to nothing. They passed in favor of the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra. That's enough to pass full council on Wednesday. The county commissioners today passed it three to nothing. That is also, of course, unanimous. As I mentioned, a lot of questions still remaining, a lot of details to be hammered out. But if everything comes together as it's supposed to, it will mean money in the banks. For something to grow, it needs to be nurtured plants, and developments like the banks, where merchants have been hoping for a concert venue to help draw in customers. We need it down here. It, it needs to happen. You know, I've been working on it for six years now, Jeff. That wait is now closer to being over. Hamilton County Commissioners today chose the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra as the preferred developer over two competing bids. In fact, one of those other bidders, Live Nation, dropped out and threw its support to the orchestra. The proposed venue would hold up to 4,000 people and target acts and audiences which currently skip Cincinnati. We need a facility that's general admission where young people can stand and listen to these concerts. It's yeah. not something that appeals necessarily to myself, by the way. <laughs> uh, but I recognize that, uh, that, that there, things have changed and the concert venues need to change along with that. The symphony's plan also includes outdoor concert space in good weather, but indoor acts in the winter are the key. The banks draws customers when it's warm and when the Reds are home. February is another story. What we focus on is the winter and having a 4,000 seat indoor venue is huge for all of us down here for the slower months. There still have to be negotiations to determine the exact design and specific location. Plus, dealing with the Bengals' concern about losing tailgating space at nearby Paul Brown Stadium. There is no Bengals veto looming. Uh, they don't have the ability to outright veto the decision that we have made. They've never said to the county parties, including me personally, that they would threaten a veto, that they would veto or take any step like that at all. The hope is everything can be resolved and the concert venue will open in the fall of 2019. Let's get it going. Let's go. It's time. Now, the Cincinnati Symphony says it will pay the nearly $20 million in construction costs for the facility, which is supposed to draw at least 300,000 people a year once it gets up and running. Now, the CSO is a nonprofit organization, which means it will not pay property taxes, it will not pay admissions taxes once this facility is, is up and going. One of the other proposals, actually both of them, one pulled out, but the remaining private developer, Promo West, is private. They would have paid property taxes. However, the backers of the symphony say that the symphony's footprint for their venue is smaller, it would use up less land, and then you can use that land for tax-generating projects, other projects. Live at the banks, Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News, back to you. Yeah, no question, a lot of steps left. Thank you, Jeff. The Bengals say, by the way, their goal is to have room for both a bank's concert venue and parking for tailgating at Paul Brown Stadium. In a statement sent to season ticket holders, the team says the Bengals support a music venue and think it would be a great addition to the downtown area. The Bengals say one of the locations does allow space for both the concert facility and tailgating. The team says it will continue talking with various stakeholders to help get that music venue 